Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back with Horsehaven World Adventures. Now I'm going to go ahead here and try and breed another tier 2 constellation horse, uh, of Scorpio 2. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try my tier 1 with my tier 2. Still a very, very low chance of getting this. We still have a massive chance of just ending up with more tier 1s. Um, so it is probably going to be a bit tricky to do this, but I'm just going to keep doing it because at the end of the day, the constellation horses, even when they're full, you can sell them for gems, so I'm not too worried. Oh, okay, no. I thought I, was, I thought we were going to get another tier two there. Okay, nope, not today, unfortunately. We'll just have to try again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and breed this horse of mine to a friend's horse because we're going to try and get a Warlander tier one. So, there's a decent chance of getting this. We got like a 48% chance, so I'm hoping we'll end up with that rather than, um, well, we could get a Warlander th tier three, but that's like really really unlikely. We're more likely to end up probably with a Barbant than a tier 3, so I'm hoping for the tier 1 Morlander. Ah, uh, no, 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 I am gonna spin again. No, we're gonna do that again. I know we just spent like um, all of our cookies on 45 diamonds, but no. There we go. Now we've got a Warlander tier 1 and we can start off breeding our Warlander horses now. So that's ideal, that's what I wanted. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try again uh, with Scorpio. Um, we're just gonna have to keep giving this a try. And so we finally get a tier two. Well, a second tier two. We need a female uh, tier two Scorpio. So we're just gonna have to keep trying this. There we go. Alright, here goes. Still, same amount of chance of getting this. I really don't wanna have to spend diamonds on this if I can help it. No, no. That, that was really far away that time. Absolutely no chance of getting it. Unfortunately. Okay, so I'm gonna breed to a friend's tier three Warlander with my tier one that we got. And uh, we could end up with a tier two, I believe. Yeah, go tier two um, as well. So to be honest, I just want either tier not tier one or Oh we got tier two. Okay, we've got tier two, so that's ID. Right. So we've got a tier two Warlander to work with now. So I'm gonna meal with that one. So the US racing event is back and uh, this is where you win the boxes and the puzzle pieces. I kind of completely forgot about this event um, and I wasn't really focused on it but I feel like I probably should now because actually there is horses in there and the puzzle pieces that I do want. Um, like Miracle Christmas was one that I wanted for a while um, and then there's other horses in there as well like um, I'm trying to think. I think it's Vida. I don't think I'll get any pieces for Vida but uh, I really do like that horse so I would like to get it. Alright, All Might's not in any risk here of losing this by the looks of it. Yeah, no, we're good. So that's a guaranteed, um, the best box for us. So there we go, we've got a crystal box. Right, we have now got, I think, all the boxes and I have enough cookies here to skip. So we're just going to go ahead and skip these uh, and we'll claim and then I'll probably run my other horses here to get them. So two Miracle Christmas pieces, two more Miracle Christmas, just some money. More milk for Christmas, more money. What's this one? More milk for Christmas, more money. Okay. So now that we've got all those empty, I can go ahead and run those again. But um, the, the, the milk for Christmas that we want to work on, I'm only on 18 out of 80, so I have a lot to go with that, but we, it's doable. Uh, the other thing is, obviously, the season star right now is Miracle Christmas itself and the Warlander. Um, I'm probably not going to have these ready. I probably won't use my Warlander, to be honest with this. I'll probably just stick with uh, the horses that I've been using at the moment for this. Right, we're gonna go ahead and level up our tier two Warlander here. We've got a tier two Warlander meal full. And this should, yes, it is meant to go good. Right, let's see ya. Ooh, that's pretty. I quite like that. That's quite a nice horse. Right, so now that that one is um, grown up, we can go ahead and breed this to a friend's horse. So we're gonna go and try for the tier three. Right, we'll go ahead and breed this one to the tier 3, the friends one. So we have a good chance now to get another tier 2 Warlander. Um, both of those are actually female, which is good because we have a male. And we have a small chance of getting a tier 3 male. So chances are we're going to get another tier 2, but that's okay because it's going to be the gender that we need. Yep, okay, perfect. So now we've got um, a second Warlander tier 2 which is just ideal now for us. So we've got two of each on that. Right, I'm going to go ahead and put this other tier one out to train. 
as well as this tier one. Ah, nope. Let me click on this. There we go. Alright, we'll put them out to train as well. Um, we have nothing else I need to do in my French ranch at the moment, as far as I know. Alright, we're just going to check the quest. Okay, so collect 700 coins. Clean out the mountain. Montana paddock. Alright, so we have sell the apples and harvest and night forage. And we can go ahead and sell the apples. I think I should have enough apples here. So we're in while I'm at it. Because apples are something I find I go through pretty quickly on this, to be fair. Alright. There we go. Now we can, I'm going to sell some. I knew that we had some already, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't have... If I if I didn't pick those other ones up, I might not have enough. Alright, so that should have completed that. There we go. Um, in terms of these quests right now, I haven't got really any that I'm sort of really working on. Um, we've got to a decent level on a lot of these ground stables, which is good. Um, so... Nordic Steeplechase, Homeforth, okay, yeah, there's nothing massive that I need to do right now with these. Still need to work on this one, like, that's one that I've hardly done anything else. Uh, in terms of this right now, the exchange now is still on Capricorn Aquarius, they seem to refresh for another six days. Um, so I'm going to try for one of these actually, I'm going to try and build up my points again. That's what I have been doing, but I haven't got enough just yet, because I would actually really love to get a second one of these, and I think Aquarius would be quite nice. So I will go ahead and work on those, now we're going to go over to one of my other ranches. Right, we'll clean up our German ranch here. I don't have much to do in my German ranch except I do need to collect from these. Right, put these back in to collect some more jams and so forth. Slowly getting there with that, so I'm pretty happy because I'm trying to get everything out of the Pure Breed Society this time around because I missed a couple in the last run. Now, our progress in this right now, we're getting much, much closer to getting the final piece here. We've done all of the things for today. Now, the other thing I want to do is go to the treasure boxes here because we should have some. Yeah, we can claim these, so we'll go ahead and claim them. So there's two more Mullivan Christmas pieces. Two more there. Oh, we got Gabrielle Christmas that time. 12 gems, or 12 diamonds, nice. And then another two Mullivan Christmases. Right, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and run these again. Some of my horses should have recovered their energy, like All Might, for example. So this is the progress I've made so far with Pure Breed Society. We're getting closer to the end of the American Indy. The Weller is the one I'm gonna go for first, obviously, and then work backwards. I think we've still got a couple of hours and a lot of these left to go, um, but I have reached what I'm needed for both of these, I just need to get more of the blue gems. Then with the Dutch warm blood, still need more of the green gems for that one as well, so um, I'm going to go for that after that. And then finally, if I have enough, I will go ahead and I will unlock the American Indian as well. So right now my aim is all of these, but this will be the first one, and I'll sort of go back from there. Um, that's going to be my goal with those. So we're on my Montana ranch here. Now since I leveled this ground table up a couple of times, I hadn't been in it. I went in it the other day and I was really, really surprised. So I'm going to show you the inside of this ground table. Like, look at this. This is insane. It has changed so much from when we first started. And you can see all of the horses running around in here. We have 45 uh, spots in total. Um, we have got horses here that I've had for a really long time, we've got horses here that I only recently got, like the Constellations and so forth. Um, the other thing I want to try for the first time is the Constellation race. I still haven't done it yet, so we're going to do it now because I've got several Constellation horses in here. None of them are particularly well trained or anything like that, but we're going to give it a go and try it out for the first time, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, let's find this Constellation race. This is it. Okay, so the Clyde race, Steeplechase. Okay. So, right now we've only got the one that we can take into this, so let's go ahead and bring this one in. Oh wow, okay. Well, I suppose it is called a cloud race. <laughs> okay, I think we'll just take the shield for now. So earn a fee for public appearance in Steeplechase, so we get a thousand for this appearance. Tap and hold anywhere to jump. Okay, so same in principles as I expected as all the other ones. Wow, look at the- oh, this is- 
This is like weird, but oh my god, it's cool. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh my. It's kind of, I don't know why, it's kind of hard to say, so I have to get to there for that. We'll try and get, we'll try and get to that point for the first like little reward, I think, would be, would be nice if we could do that. So, this is, this is, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we've already messed up. <laughs> this is the problem. I'm like playing this on blue stacks at the moment, and uh, it's a little bit harder to control sometimes than when you're used to the phone controls. You have to kind of forget about the ones where you have to jump. Um, the other way. I love the little rainbow that goes behind it. That's just a nice touch. And then you can see all the different uh, star signs in the background. Quite nice. Oh, well, make sure we don't mess that up again. Come on! I don't know if we've reached where we needed to to get the thing, but we'll try and go as far as we can. Because I've never had- oh, oh, okay. Well, we did reach where we were supposed to get to to get the reward, at least that's good. So that's the first time ever doing that race, and it looks really, really cool. So milestone reached. There we go. Right, okay. I don't think we'll have gotten to the leaderboard because that was kind of pathetic. <laughs> like, with how far we got. Yeah, no. Well, we did okay. We were second right now, but then I suppose not many people probably do the Constellation Race because it looks... or not the Constellation... I keep calling the Constellation Race the Cloud Race. I feel like the Cloud Race is very hard. I feel like looking at it... I don't know why because every, everything's cloudy and fluffy and hard to see and I feel like it's probably a tricky one. I don't know, maybe you, some of you guys do it regularly. Maybe you can give me some tips on it and so forth, but I felt like that was a little bit disorienting for some strange reason. Like, the other races feel a lot easier now compared to that, even though I only did a tiny bit of that. Although, there's some of the races I really don't like doing the Australian one, to be honest. I don't really do this most of the time, I just like enter random horses and, and run that, but we've got like a good bit. I'm not sure if there's anything here I can kind of do. Spend 50 diamonds, reach 5,000 in the super chase. Uh, it's such a tiny reward for that. I feel like if it was 650, it'd be much, much, much nicer than that. Uh, we haven't actually seen if we've collected any of the new. I feel like we've got any more of these in terms of gift boxes. No, it doesn't look like it. Right, so what about. Well, Constellation 2, we did get our first Constellation. There we go, we got a one for a tier, getting a tier 2. Congratulations, you want a reward for your horse collection. So we got 20 diamonds for that. Obviously, we haven't got to tier 3 yet. Um, I think if I'm going to go ahead between Capricorn and Aquarius 2, I'm going to earn, try and earn this one out of the rewards. That would be my kind of my goal for that. I don't have any of those. I don't know if I got, I haven't, I don't know if I, I have any more new um, ones in this regard. Nope. Okay, what about exclusive horses? Have I got any new ones with this? Okay, we have tier 2. Okay, so we've won a reward for that. 120! Nice! Okay, now what about tier 3? Okay, congratulations, you won a reward for course collection. 180! Nice, okay. Pretty pleased with that, to be honest. Um, there's still a lot of horses there that I have yet to collect. I might, I don't know, I feel like at the moment I'll probably try and get uh, Miracle Christmas and then maybe try and get um, the other Christmas horse, Gabrielle Christmas possibly, but I guess we'll have to wait and see with that. So about, actually the Mermaid, the Tier 3 Mermaid's very nice. Have I still not got a Tier 3 Wicked Step Mother? I mustn't have, okay, I thought I had got them, I can't try breeding them right now because obviously this is occupied by um, one of the constellation horses. I don't know if I can speed this up. How much can we speed this up by? Like, we can speed it up a bit, but not enough, I think, to, like, get it out of the actual house right now. The reading house. Right. How much longer is on that? Six hours to 50 diamonds. I don't really want to spend that on it right now. But yeah, no, I think that will probably be my goal right now. Um, with these, with the boxes, is to try and get them, because... Out of these, 
I would say American Christmas is one I think is super pretty and I would really like to have it. Um, the other one I really want to get at some point is Casper Halloween because I just really want that Halloween horse. Um, some of these obviously we've already claimed. Having seen the mermaid tier 3 actually I would like to get this. I do want to get Vita. I keep like making progress on Vita but never enough to actually finish it. So those would be my picks. Vita, mermaid, and Casper Halloween, obviously, we'll probably not get parts for that right now. American Christmas, because some of these puzzle pieces probably aren't available, and some of them might be. So yeah, I'm gonna keep working on my treasure boxes for the time being, and uh, hopefully get all the required pieces for this, and go from there. I literally need like one puzzle piece more for one particular horse that I already have, which is just silly. Night, literally, I have exactly one missing, and I already have all the night horses, so. That I'll probably just unlock at some point and claim it just so I don't get any more puzzle pieces if it does come back, but other than that, um, I'm not going to worry about it. But anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day, and bye-bye!